Hello friends, welcome to the part 11 of this tutorial series. In this part, we will be installing the packages that will help us in validating the DTOs at the server side. And these are the very important packages. So again, we have to refer back to the documentation here. Uh, let me open that here quickly. Where is my browser? Okay, let's, let's stick with Chrome. So docs.nestjs.com and here simply type class validator. So under the pipes, we'll see this. Okay. So basically we are going to use pipes to validate our data. And these are the two packages that I will be installing in my project. And one more thing that I have stopped the server from here in my integrated IDE terminal and I've started a dedicated command prompt here where my server is running all right so let's close it from here and I'll simply use the command that I copied and hit enter so this will install both of them as my dependencies in the package.json file and once that is done so you can simply ignore these 14 vulnerabilities we are not concerned about those let's quickly see what we have here uh, if i go to package.json so here under dependencies we will have class validator and class transformer okay well, let's see so all these both of these packages they have decorators inbuilt and if you go to the browser and search for class validator npm it will take you to the npm library where you can have or read the uh, various decorators it has so if you scroll down it, so it has got a table somewhere there you go so these are the validation decorators okay so all these decorators are available to you out of the box and you can use them as per your need so let's jump to the code and we have the let's open the create post tto okay now we are sending the title and the content and the image url okay so i'll make the title as a mandatory field so it should not be empty Again, you see it's coming from class validator. Similarly, this should be a string. So, is string. I use both of them, both of these decorators for my content. And I want to make image URL as optional. So, I'll not use not empty, I'll use is optional. Okay. So this will also require a category of type category and this should be optional as well because i later on i will use a default category if that is not uh, given here in the request body so that's about it but still the these decorators will not function unless you use the use a specific pipe and the way you use a pipe is you go to the respective controller and let's say you are targeting this particular endpoint so you, under the post request you have to use at the rate use pipes and under pipes I have to make sure you import it from nestjs common and here I have to use class uh, c i'm sorry not pipes i think this it's use interceptor class serializer interceptor you have to use this here once you use this Save the changes, check your terminal, and you go back to your request. Let's 
do a post request and in the body i'm gonna uh, i mean omit the content and main image so let's see see i get an error it says something let's see field content does not have a default value okay so it has to uh be there you cannot omit it right so now we are doing some some validation although we are not sending the information to the front end so also we will use let's use the pipes and see validation pipe here okay so use pipes this is another decorator coming from same uh, nest.js common library and we are using the validation pipe which is coming from let's see here uh should come from okay pipe nest.js common here right so there you go this is the validation pipe imported from nest.js common now if you save the changes and see the terminal it's all okay now hit send perfect this is the output i was expecting so we we should not be using interceptor here we should be using pipes and our server is still running without any errors as you can see here and the end user gets a 400 bad request that says contents content must be a string and content should not be empty right if you want to display a custom message you can simply go to the dto and let's say here you can simply uh, give it a message property it says please enter something for the content now you save the changes go back and hit send button so you see it says please enter something for the content so it cannot be empty This is pretty handy and this prevents the this data to be forwarded to the corresponding route so it stops the request here and gives and throws an error to the end user similarly i'll simply remove this from here i don't need it okay and let's quickly work on the category dto the category uh, dto not entity okay we're not we're not touching the entity we are modifying or working with the dto only so this again should be a string and should not be empty and the description should be a string but it can be optional okay save the changes now let's check the auth uh, dto so here we have a lot of stuff. So the first name should be a string and should not be empty. I'll copy these two for last name, email, password, and the profile pick should be optional. Okay. So that done my server has been restarted i can try again if i let's say give it a main image and i give a content i get an output okay let's see where we go the user is null category is null because we have not provided anything there we will see how we can do that in the upcoming videos but as of now this is the value and will also the default category so i mean let me quickly create another category here that will be my uh category number three that's uncategorized this is the default category okay save the changes So now what you can do uh, in the post right in the post entity 
uh, we saw that we are getting user ID and the category ID columns generated automatically, but we cannot fetch those information uh, anywhere using our post entity because we don't have that property set here. Let's click quickly create a couple of new properties that should match the same uh, name here uh, that we have here user ID with a uh, camel case and category ID. Okay, so user ID of type number and category ID of type number. And now we want to use this these two fields uh, and store the data there instead of uh, putting it somewhere else. So what we will do, we'll come here to the one form. I mean, in the many to one relationship. And what we will do, we'll use another property, that is another decorator. That's join column. So this decorator gives us the flexibility to tell which what is, what should be the name of the new column that we will be using to uh, create the relationship. So here. I want the name to be user ID only, and that is a reference column should be ID in the user table. Similarly, I'll copy this and oops, put it here. So this would be my category ID, and this should be the same. Now my category ID, it can accept a default value. I'll put it three there. Because three is the uh, ID of my uncategorized one. Okay, so once you do this and save the changes, make sure your server is rebooted. Uh, okay, so it's unable to do that because we already have the tables created. So let's let me quickly go here and delete the post table. Because we have to delete the post table first because that's the child. The parent cannot be deleted without the child. Let's see. Okay. Cascade, delete. Okay. I have to delete this first. Uh, that's gone my post table is gone now i'll delete this and i'll delete this as well everything is gone okay now my server has restarted hopefully nothing is there okay so <laughs> let me quickly come here stop the server and restart it so now it'll generate the tables from scratch and we will have no data there but that's all right we have well we will have the correct relation relationship okay we have two foreign keys and we should also have the category id and user id okay all of that stuff so let's quickly create a uh, couple of categories so first one is gaming this is gaming category next is uh, travel this is travel category and third one is uncategorized this is the default category okay once done save the changes similarly go to users and view data let's create super mario uh, super mario s and s dot com password is this and profile pic is nothing okay so now if you go to the postman and hit send for all posts you get an empty array because the post uh data is empty so now 
in our create post TTO, it will not work because we don't have the user data. We are not sending the user or the category ID. Okay, so we will see how we can update this create DTO, create post DTO, and uh, enter or send the user ID and category ID there. And if even if we don't send the category ID, that should default to the uh, uncategorized, um, uncategorized entry in in the database. Okay, so we'll we'll work on that in the next video. Okay, so till then. If you have any suggestions or comments or if you're liking this particular series let me know in the comment section below it will be really helpful for me to know the feedback from my subscribers and viewers so that i can prepare the content accordingly so this is all about this particular part i'll see you in the next video till then have fun and happy learning thank you